garden center in EHT is where everyone's lawn and garden should begin. Family owned and operated since 1964. Stop in and see what we have to offer. Visit bobsgardencenter.com or follow us on Facebook. Happy Thursday, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. We are looking out at a soggy Ocean City boardwalk. It is cloudy out there. We've seen a couple different rounds of rain. Not many people out on the beach, but definitely a lot of foot traffic. Even though it's a little on the gray side, people are still getting outside and enjoying at least the nice temperatures that we have. It's a little on the cooler side. Still muggy, though. Right now, as far as our temperatures are concerned, most spots are in the mid-70s. A couple of spots tiny bit warmer. You've got Glassboro at 78, 77 for Vineland, but back towards Mays Landing, Atlantic City, you're 76 and 74 degrees. The dew points are not far off though. That's one of the reasons that we have all of the clouds overhead. We're seeing patchy fog across our area, poor visibility for a number of locations because those dew points are still in the 70s. The good news is we're not staying this way. Let's talk about the positives before we get into the nitty gritty of what we'll be dealing with for the next few days. One big positive is the beautiful stretch of weather that's on the way for this weekend and for next week. We're going to see a cold front clear our area on Friday that's bringing in the remnants of Debbie but on the back side of that cold front we're gonna see some much cooler and drier air moving in so temperatures will be staying just a little bit below average but more importantly those dew points are gonna fall off we're actually gonna be pretty comfortable as we look ahead to this weekend and dry not much in the way of rain or thunderstorm activity for the next few days today though that's another story we've already seen a lot of rain kind of push up from the south and race towards our area We'll continue that for the rest of this evening. Again, just over the last 24 hours, we've seen about a half an inch, a quarter of an inch of rain. Up to the north, been a little bit drier. Up towards Trenton and Asbury Park, they've only seen a quick little trace of rain in the past 24 hours. But just a few days ago, they got an onslaught of rain, buckets of moisture up to the north earlier this week. So. This is where we are right now. I think by overnight tonight, we'll be closing in on maybe an inch and a half for a few locations. And then we still have to deal with the moisture that's wrapped around what will be left over of Debbie. Overnight tonight, more rain and clouds, temperatures staying in the 70s, still a little bit of a sticky feel as well with those dew points staying high. We're not seeing much of an opportunity for uh, really thunderstorm activity, especially severe thunderstorm activity. We just have this light green shading. So if we do see any storms, none of them are expected to be severe. Severe, but even really the chance for storms in general is very low. We're just looking at rain mostly for the rest of this evening and kind of into the overnight hours. Now tomorrow, that's another story. Okay, so zooming in on our area, previously we were in that dark green shading. We were looking at that isolated chance for severe thunderstorms. We've been elevated now to this yellow shading, which means we have the potential for scattered severe thunderstorms as we see a cold front and the remnants of Debbie work towards our area. Right now, we're still contending with this trough that's been hanging out for the past couple of days. But as we look forward to tomorrow, Debbie's already starting to lift up towards Virginia. A lot of her moisture is starting to impact central Pennsylvania. That's where we'll see a lot of the really high rainfall totals. All of that gets wrapped up in this cold front and gets pushed towards our area. So for tomorrow evening is where we see the cold front and the moisture from Debbie roll across our area. And then after that, as early as Saturday morning, we're starting to turn that corner and see some drier weather moving in. And then just really a whole lot of nothing going on for your Sunday and even into your Monday. Moisture down to the south, but for the rest of the uh, weekend for us, things are looking dry. So here's a little bit of that moisture trying to sneak up ahead of Debbie kind of late this evening, but it's really not until tomorrow that we see it really move through central PA. See all that shading of red and orange, that's intense tropical rainfall. They're gonna, kept, they're gonna pick up a quick, maybe three to four inches of rain over a very short period of time. So this is tomorrow morning. We should be dry for the first half of the day. However, as we, read, as we run through the afternoon, all of that moisture slowly gets pushed further towards the east. So I would say between maybe four to eight o'clock is where we start to see the activity ramp up as that cold front races across our area. And then after that, by about midnight, 1 a.m., everything pushes offshore and will really start to quiet down. So this is what we're looking at, that 10% chance for damaging wind gusts. That's just what we're going to be seeing kind of along the front. You're going to see the wind really start to ramp up tomorrow throughout the afternoon. We're going to be seeing widespread, probably 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts 
throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Again, a little bit of a breeze starts to kick in overnight tonight, but it's really tomorrow afternoon and into the evening where you see those numbers climb. Now, in each individual thunderstorm, you could get some stronger wind gusts closer to maybe 50, but a widespread 30 to 40 is possible. And then after that, Saturday morning, everything shuts off and we're done and over with. Looking at our Potential for excessive rainfall, again, a lot of the real true tropical moisture stays further off to the west, but you can see just barely, including Philadelphia and portions of almost kind of Berlin, Pensacola, and Collingswood, you're included in that medium risk for excessive rainfall. Everybody else looks like a low chance for the excessive rainfall, but still, you're going to be seeing some rain and you're going to be dealing with a couple of downpours. So a widespread one to two inches for most of our area is on the way for tomorrow. You'll have those isolated totals where a quick downpour moves through, so some spots will be kind of bumped up to two and a half or three, but as far as the higher totals, a lot of that is further off to the west, kind of outside the city. Let's talk about the tornado risk. It's not a zero. Is it our number one concern? No. However, we do have that two to five percent chance for tornado activity. Again, we've seen this kind of setup or this kind of track and scenario previously. Think back to Ida back in 2021. That's when the storm was a little bit closer. We also had a lot more heat and sunshine before she rolled through. We don't have those ingredients with this. So while we do have a possibility for a quick spin up, it's not our number one concern. And again, it's really the further west and north that you travel that you have a better chance for that activity. It's not zero, but it's not our number one concern either. Looking at our seven day forecast, once we get done with all of this, it's gonna be a beautiful stretch of weather. Temperatures in the 80s, low dew points and lots of sunshine. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.